Namaste, Goddess Shala here, Reiki Master, Reha Tech Practitioner, or Healer, Tarot Reader, and I am also a spiritual teacher. And have you lost your pet? We can connect to your pet psychically so that he or she will return if she can. First, I like us to do a short prayer and just imagine white light surrounding you so that only pure and loving thoughts can come to you. And this will also bring you peace so we can concentrate on calling your, your pet to you. Now imagine your pet. See your pet in front of you. And imagine your heart feeling that love. Feel that love. Just relax. Feel that love for your pet coming from your heart. So and put a color there. Let's say green or pink. Now see that love, that color of love flowing from your heart, connecting with your pet's heart. Okay, so you're connecting with your pet. Now, call your pet, say your pet's name. For example, my cat, Silky. Silky, hi Silky, come home. We're waiting for you. Take a deep breath. And just relax. Now, here we go. This is from a gypsy magic book that my sister uh, told me about when I actually did lo lose my cat, Cairo. Before then, I had lost two cats in that neighborhood because we were close to a hill and they had coyotes. So we... We assume that the coyotes got the cats because they never returned, two of them. So this third one, I had my cat Cairo and she got out of the house and she, we couldn't find her. We've been calling her and the, you know, nightfall, there was nightfall and it was getting, everything was getting dark and that's when the coyotes come out. So we knew if we did not get her before, um, sundown we may never see her again just like my other two cats so so desperate you know i was so sad i was we were all desperate my sister said well let's try this a friend of hers gave her a book it wasn't this exactly but it was um gypsy magic it said it didn't have the love this one's for for love spells so at the time we were desperate, we thought, you know, let's try it out. Um, so what you do, you get a votive candle, a candle, white candle. Um, you, does your pet have a bowl for her food, his or her food, um, or where she drinks water, something that would, that's connected to her, where she sleeps. So um, either go there or bring that to you Bring those um, materials to you, those materials that she she uses, the bowl or um, bowl for her drink or for her water or for her food or where she sleeps in. And ha have the candle there next to it. Light the candle and say, my fair beauty gone astray Please come back to me today with my aching heart and wonder. Please come back to me from yonder. Say that three times while you're thinking, imagining your pet, seeing your pet in front of you, connecting with your pet, just imagining your pet getting that message, hearing that message. And um, say that three times, and so you have that candle lit, and just let it, um, and leave it lit like that. And that's it. 
just make sure with the candle lit like that um, make sure it's your home is safe that it's not close to anything that could catch fire so that's it and relax um, do your prayers uh, or do your meditation or just you know keep an eye out because your pet will be coming back I'll tell you my story so so for Cairo so we had the nightfall and my sister and I we were so upset we were and we did this we got her bowl and um, and next to it we had the candle and we lit it and we said those words and I will type up the words underneath this um, video so you can the, the words that you need to say three times the phrase um, so we did that and then and then and then until the light the candle um, got to its end and and was finished and we still didn't have our cat back we would open the door but it was dark outside we would open the door and call for her but she was not coming so by morning I was crying already I was crying when the Sun was coming up I was crying I come out to the garden and I'm calling her name but it was with tears because I pretty much knew that if she didn't come back that evening the night before then she probably would not never come back just like my other two cats anyway so and I was shaking her her um, little box of treats just to call her and all of a sudden I heard a meow it was incredible so I heard a, a meow and I was like oh my god where's that coming from and she was under one of the cars parked outside I could not believe it and it was slightly raining so I don't know if that saved her but she was safe and sound I could not believe it and after that we never lost any pets again because I that's why I have this uh, memorized already and I always have a candle close by just in case I need to look for a pet and um, but that was years ago so they've you know Cairo passed away from old age and um, yeah but she did she did return and so I know how it feels like to to you know how worried you can get if, when your cat or your dog is missing or any of your pets so I just wanted to give you that information and I wish you all the best with your pet um, last thing so Cairo passed away several years now. I, she was such a nice, beautiful, beautiful, loving cat. I love that cat. Actually, all my pets, you know, I just, and I'm going to try to do this. They call it a spell um, to call her back to me. Maybe I, I know she's in heaven somewhere and um, because I saw my grandfather actually when she passed away we had to put her down so I saw my grandfather who also passed away he was carrying her and he told me he said you know she'll be okay I'll take care of her so I know she's up there but um, I feel like Maybe I can call her back here. So I'm going to try the spell when I'm ready. When I got my little garden again and, you know, a, a nice place for cats where my cats will be safe and they'll have a lot of places to play in and a beautiful garden to play at. And um, so I'm going to do that. I'll try that. Um, please post uh, your success stories. 
Thank you. Namaste.